started here, it's probably best to realize that this section is not as hard as you think it is right from the start here. You're just looking at the relationship between lines that are parallel to each other and lines that are perpendicular to each other. This is not going to be a, a huge section that we have to spend a lot of time on, but you need to know whether, uh, you know, you need to know what those two words mean. I'm pretty sure you know what parallel means, right? Two lines that are parallel. Maybe you wouldn't be able to write a kind of dictionary definition of it, but two lines that are parallel. If I'm going to try and draw some parallel lines up here, what are parallel lines? How about if you, on your grid paper there, you draw some parallel lines right now? Don't draw them so they're horizontal or vertical. Draw them so they slope, and don't draw them so they're a 45-degree angle. Okay, draw two lines that are parallel and uh, aren't any of those things. Like, So don't draw them... 45 degree angle up or 45 degree angle down. Don't draw them so they're horizontal. Okay. Don't draw them so they're vertical. Try and draw, try and draw, uh, two lines that are parallel that are neither of those, none of those things. Well, what, I, I don't care about the degrees, but don't make them have a slope of zero or one or negative one is what I'm saying or undefined. Don't make them have a slope of any of those things. We'll pause. Have you managed to come up with some kind of conclusion? Probably, again, you could answer this question just, you know, using common sense here about how slopes of parallel lines are related to each other. If we draw a line here, um, now I asked you to draw it not you know, with a slope of one or slope of negative one or anything like that, but just to kind of practice drawing lines with other slopes. I'm going to draw a line with a slope of, let's say, um, a half here, like this. So I'm going to draw that as one of my lines, maybe up to there. Okay, so there's a line, and then if I draw another one here, draw a green one. If I draw this parallel, what do I have to make sure to do? If I draw it exactly parallel to the other one, is that parallel to the other one? Is that parallel to the other one? What has to be true if it's parallel? Slope has to be exactly the same, right? If it's parallel, the slope has to be exactly the same. I think I manage, except for I'm slightly off here, you see down here, if I was being a perfectionist. Um, if you're doing this properly, it should be exactly the same. Same distance everywhere, right? Like distance between parallel lines is always the same. If this is three here, this is three, right? Distance at the same angle and everything like that. But th for what we're doing, um, slopes of parallel lines are always going to be equal, right? The same or equal. Okay, this thing has a slope of, if you go from there to there, one over two, a half, right? This has a slope of one over two. Anywhere you go on that line, right? Slope of one over two. Slopes are equal, right? Parallel lines, slopes are equal. That's what you have to know. Right? Parallel lines, slopes are always equal to each other. Seems pretty obvious, right? Um, perpendicular lines, it's not so obvious. I want you to try and investigate this by, first of all, discuss with somebody else if you don't know what perpendicular is. What does perpendicular mean? These two lines right here are perpendicular to each other. What does it mean? Um, opposite, like if I, if I say draw a perpendicular line to that, what do I mean? Is this perpendicular? Yeah, it has to be a right angle. Like this one has to be a right angle there like that. Okay, so two lines that are at right angles. If you're not sure what that, if you if you haven't used that word before, maybe put a little definition in there of that. But we're looking at now. You want to know, or we want to figure out how are lines that are perpendicular to each other, how are their slopes related? They're obviously not the same. So I want you to try and draw. You could draw a few different pairs if you want, but draw some lines. Draw a pair of lines that are perpendicular. Um, 
again, just try not, you know, maybe don't start with, don't, don't draw horizontal and vertical lines, although that's the easiest ones to make perpendicular. And don't just eyeball it. Think about how you can draw some perpendicular lines here. If I was to draw this line as my first line, okay, I'm going to try and draw, that's my first line. I'll draw it again so it's perfect here. Okay, there's there's a line. If I want to draw a perpendicular to line line to that, think about how I'm going to do it. Okay, I'll pause it. If you want to draw something that's perpendicular, it's 90 degrees. Something that's 90 degrees, you can think of as if you want something 90 degrees to this line, it's like you've rotated it a quarter of a turn. That makes sense. If you rotate something a quarter of a turn, that can help you draw this here because. If you want, uh, let's say we, I didn't have that line there and I want one that's perpendicular to this. If you look at uh, this part of the line right here, just imagine that it's a rectangle, right? I mean, it is sort of almost a rectangle. That rectangle is two on this side and four on this side, right? Or, the, I mean, that's kind of like the slope of this line. If I'm going to draw something that's perpendicular, think about rotating this around. 90 degrees. If I rotate that around 90 degrees, where's the rest of my line going to be? If I rotate that part of it, that part is now, I'll draw it a different color, but that part now is going to be this way up, right? If I rotate that rectangle, it's going to be like this, right? Okay, it's blue now. It's rotated and it's turned color to something else, but where's that arrow going to be if I rotate it? It's still going to be, if I'm rotating around that point, it's going to be right here, right? That's perpendicular, isn't it? I know I just drew it freehand, but we can draw an actual one. Okay, that that arrows that's perpendicular, right? That's 90 degrees. How do the slopes compare? The slope of this is 2 over 4, right? Slope of this. I'm going to call this M1. M used for slope. M1 is a slope of, I don't know, line 1. This is going to be M2. M1 is 2 over 4, 1 over 2, or 0.5, any one of those things. If I rotate this, this is the this is the rise, this is the run. If I rotate it now, where does this go in the new rectangle? Is that still the rise of that line? The 2 is not the rise anymore. It's not the vertical. Where is it? It's the horizontal here, right? For that line, so the two is the run now, right? The two becomes the run. Uh, the 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 run was was uh, four. Now where's that on here? It's not the run anymore. It's the rise. But it's actually downhill now, right? This line is downhill, not uphill anymore, right? What's the rise for this new line? The perpendicular line. Negative four, right? Not positive four. <laughs> If the slope of the original line was 2 over 4, the slope of this line is going to be, we'll write them down here. If the original line was 2 over 4, it was positive 0 0.5, or in other words, positive a half, plus 1 half. What's the slope of this line going to be? It's going downwards, right, to the right. This line was going up to the right. This one's going down to the right, and the rise and the run have switched, right? What's the slope of this one going to be? For two across, it goes down negative four. What does that work out to when you when you divide it? What do you get? What do you get when you divide that? Negative four over two is negative two, or negative two over one, right? Here's the slopes of these two lines are uh, perpendicular to each other. There's their slopes, right? That's that's that line that's highlighted in blue. That's the line that's highlighted in yellow. Let's do one more here. Okay, this is a line that starts going down. Okay, and we'll rotate it the other way this time. I'm gonna rotate this this way. Okay, um, and if you if you highlight this here, okay, this part of the line there. If I rotate that rectangle there. Okay, if I rotate that thing this way, the rectangle is going to be tipped on its side. It's not going to be four tall and three wide. What's it going to be this time? 
three tall and four wide, right? You tip the rectangle on its side, that's what you get. It's great. It's rhyme. I, I try my best, you know. If I if I uh, if I rotate it here, the line is going to be going like this now, right? And I just hit a button, right? What? Well, like what? I know it disappeared. Um, it's crazy how that happens, eh? Anyways, you tip that one on its side. Now that we got the screen back. Um, you tip that one on its side. The first thing to realize is that when the, or if the original line is has a negative slope, the perpendicular line is going to have a... This line is going down here, right? That one's going down to the right. It's hard to highlight over top of green. So let's highlight with... Here's a really good highlight color. It's gray. If that line is going down, it's got a negative slope. Its perpendicular line has a positive slope, right? Whereas the way I did it before here, original line had a positive slope, the perpendicular line has a negative slope. However you draw it, if you have a line, its perpendicular line is going to have the opposite slope. It's got the opposite sign, and it's actually got the, the numbers flipped around here. If this one is, this line goes three over, and four down, negative four. Its slope is, I'm going to say M1 here, is negative four thirds. Okay, negative four thirds. The slope of the other line here has to be, what does it have to be? It's going to be going up, so it's positive. And what used to be the run is now the rise. And what used to be the, whoops, what used to be the rise is now the run. Okay, if if the original line has a slope of negative four thirds, this has a slope of positive three quarters. These are reciprocals that are opposite signs. Okay? Perpendicular lines have slopes that are, we're going to write negative reciprocals here. I think this is worth noting somewhere on your study guide, on that extra piece of paper somewhere. Negative reciprocals of each other. Okay, negative reciprocals of each other. In other words, IE, right? IE means sort of like in other words. They are opposite signs. Okay, if one's positive, the other's negative. Okay, if one is positive, the other is negative. And the rise and the run switch, right? I'm going to put switch in, in quotes here because it's not a very official way of saying it, right? If you want to write a rule for it, If the slope of the first thing is A over B, then M2 is B over A with a negative sign in front of it, right? Or if it's just a number, right? If this is, if, if the slope of M1 is uh, um, 1 over, or if it's just, let's just put a number here. If it's... Uh, that number, C, then M2 is negative 1 over C, whatever that is, right? You might see in the book, um, well, I'll look down in the study guide here for a second here. I, I don't know if it's worth writing kind of general things if you don't understand them, right? But basically, this one's probably the, whoops, this one's probably the best for people to remember here, right? If one of them's that fraction, it's that flipped over, right? Or if it's just a number, one over that number with a negative, right? Um, there's some good pictures down here that hopefully help you see that, right? Here's two parallel lines. Slopes are the same, right? Equal slopes. Here's two lines that are perpendicular. One has a slope of negative a half. 
The other is a slope of 2. They're negative reciprocals of each other. There are some, um, there are some special cases here where you're talking about um, vertical lines. If you have two vertical lines, vertical line slopes are undefined, if you remember. Right? There's no run. You're dividing by zero. Two lines that are parallel and vertical, they both have undefined slopes. Two lines that are horizontal both have zero slopes. If you have, if you have perpendicular lines, one of them being horizontal, this is why I didn't want you to write this before. If one of your lines is horizontal, its slope is zero. If M1 equals zero, if the slope of the first line is zero, what does it say here about M2? M2 is undefined. If you do, if you use kind of the formula we had up here, right? If one of the slopes is just a number here like this, the other slope is negative one over that number. Negative one over zero. What does that equal? What's negative one divided by zero? What's one divided by zero? Who cares about the negative? It's undefined, right? You can't divide by zero, right? Dividing by zero, we don't know. So this is why this is undefined. You don't say it's one over zero, you just say it's undefined. We've talked about slopes of parallel lines. We've talked about slopes of perpendicular lines. We have really briefly talked about horizontal and vertical lines. There are some, uh, there are some problems here for you to do. The first question here asks you to determine whether these are parallel, perpendicular, or neither. If it's already in slope-intercept form, you can tell without graphing the things, right? Don't do these by graphing. Do these by just looking at the equation, right? If this first line is y equals 3x minus 6, that's the slope of the first line. That's the slope of the second line. How do those compare to each other? 3 and negative 1 third. What are they? Are they equal? you got to ask yourself. If they're equal slopes, the lines are parallel. If they're negative reciprocals, then the slopes are perpendicular. If they're neither one of those things, then they're neither one of those things, right? <laughs> then the lines are neither one of those things. These are obviously not equal, so it's not the first one's not parallel. Are they negative reciprocals? They are, right? They are neg negative reciprocals of each other. They're negative reciprocals, therefore... These are perpendicular. This one's even easier, right? This is already in slope-intercept form. This is in slope-intercept form. Slope of that one's 4. Slope of that one's 4. Couldn't get any easier than that, right? The slopes are 4 and 4, right? The y-intercepts are different. What does that tell you? What if the y-intercepts were the same as well? What if this said 4x plus 3, 4x plus 3? They're right on top. It's the same line, right? So it's kind of important to realize that they're, that they're, I guess two lines on top of each other are sort of parallel, but you actually call it coincident lines. They land on top of each other. Y-intercepts are different. Same slope, different y-intercept. They're parallel, right? Same slope, but different y-intercepts, therefore these are parallel. What do you predict about this last one here? <laughs> neither? I would predict neither because if someone was designing this question, the best thing to do is um, make one of each. Don't just assume it's neither one. What's the other problem with this question? These were both in slope-intercept form. These were both in slope-intercept form. If they're not in slope-intercept form, this one is. This has a slope of 2, right? Slope of 2. What about this one? Can we tell what the slope is? How could we tell what the slope is without graphing? What could you do to this one? you want to see what the slope is without graphing, what can you do? Change it to what? Change to slope 
Intercept form. Do you like acronyms? Slope intercept form. How do you change that to slope intercept form? If you're isolating that, absolutely. If you're isolating 3y, put the 3y by itself on that side. Move the 3x to the other side. I'm going to erase this now. You can copy that down, but just so I can work right underneath here. Um, move that term to the other side here. Okay, move the 3x to the other side. Move this to the other side. So you got 3y equals negative 6x minus 3. And then divide by 3. Divide each of the terms by 3. You have y equals negative 2x. Negative 2x minus 1. That's the other line. Are these, are these uh, slopes equal? One of them's 2, one of them's negative 2. Are they equal? They're definitely not equal, right? Okay, they're not equal, and also they're not negative reciprocals. Not equal, or, well, I guess I'd say and. And not negative reciprocals. They're negatives of each other. Therefore, neither. Okay, there are some other problems in here for you to work on. You should uh, you should try these. You should try this question yourself. You should try these other things here. The other things ask you to write an equation of something that's parallel to this through this point. You can do it a variety of ways. This is going to bring back stuff you learned in the other sections. But I'm pretty sure I don't need to show you this right now because you have all the skills. If you know how the key word here is that these are parallel, and the last one here says write an equation of something that's perpendicular to this line and as an x-intercept of this. You have to be able to kind of decide what each of these pieces of information mean, right? Perpendicular, you don't know the slope. you got to find the slope of this line and then do something with it, right? There's a hint here. Work through these examples right now, okay? And make sure you understand. Remember, you can use a textbook to help or you can...